In order to effectively use sperm to mate, a species okay. has to either get really close during baby making or live in the water, where sperm Hey, we got pollen is not plant sperm. It's much weirder. I definitely thought pollen was plant kids because yeah. they, yeah. I, I thought pause, it was my nose. Pause. Yeah, like, no, yeah. actually, yeah, literally, so I've I'm, said that in the video before. Oh. Like, I definitely thought it was trees put in my face in the missionary. Unconsensually. Uh, uh, yeah, completely. But we're going to figure out what it is. You already know the vibes. Be sure to check out my channel. Check out Cloud's channel. Check out Stanley's channel. Uh, Stanley Live. Why'd you only say yours? My fault. I, I zoned out because somebody said. S X C X Y and they're 100 percent right. Yes. Anyways, let's get straight <laughs> into it. You know what I'm saying? Imagine if we came across an alien species that, instead of finding mates, they just individually popped out tiny creatures, and then those tiny creatures ran around looking for other tiny creatures to mate with, and then after mating, those died, but their babies grew up to be normal big aliens, and then the whole cycle started over again. That'd be weird, right? But this bizarre baby making strategy is actually happening right here, on Earth, all around us. Hi, I'm Cameron, and this is Minute Earth. And okay. one example of those weird mating mini organisms is probably right under your nose, or just sneezed out, or whatever. Come on, I do think people who have allergies are like a weaker form of human, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, if you can't walk out all the time of the year and do this, you're literally allergic to touching grass. That being said, hey man, <laughs> pollen allergy Wait, is completely beef? like no beef. I knew it. that. That was I was waiting for that. 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 No, being allergic to red beet is yeah. crazy. I wasn't even like, talking to Yo Yo though. Red beet, like that's crazy. I was waiting. Uh, I was waiting. I was waiting. Cause like only nigga in here with allergies. Like yeah, I was. I was, I was waiting. I was, I was waiting. talking about pollen though. No, the nose popped up. The second the nose popped up, I knew uh, something was gonna happen. So Cloud said that, and then you said allergy. I was like, oh yeah, I'm just like, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just ready. I'm talking about <laughs> pollen. Now you might have heard that pollen is plant sperm or right. some kind of plant sex organ, but that's right. not actually true. Sperm, by contrast, is a male reproductive cell that contains one set of DNA from its parent. It requires a nice, moist environment, and even under perfect hey, conditions, is only viable for a couple of hours to days. So in order to effectively use sperm to mate, a species okay. has to either get really close during baby making or live in the water where sp wow. sperm can persist for a bit before encountering an egg. Now, flowering plants, like trees for example, obviously don't live in water and can't exactly get up close and personal with their mates, so just shooting out sperm simply wouldn't work. This is where pollen comes in. Like okay. sperm, pollen contains one DNA set from its parent, but unlike sperm, pollen itself is actually its own separate living plant made of multiple cells that under the, what? the right conditions can live for months depending on the species. Sperm could only dream of that kind of freedom, but back- Nigga, the world would be a horrible place if human sperm lasted that long, boy. Wait. You could pipe some three months ago, they'd be like, I'm pretty- <laughs> 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 I would be, bro. Wait. I would be celibate, bro. No, man, what, nah, what, nah, what? Back to trees and I might get a vasectomy at that point, bro. Oh yeah, it's yeah, up. I ain't yeah. gonna lie, Nigga, bro. I would get an IUD, bro. <laughs> Fuck. Pollen. So this tiny male offspring plant is ejected out into the world, biding its time until it meets up with its counterpart, Crazy. the female offspring of the plant, called an embryo sac, which you're probably less familiar with since they basically never leave. Who less familiar? Who less familiar? Plants. I know that. Yes, I know her. When you said she was about green, I didn't know that was what you meant, bro. I thought you meant money. Oh, yeah, no. Okay. I thought they just meant in general. You really do have a green thumb. That's not, yeah, my fault. <laughs> my fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. You started it. You started it. You started it. They home. They just stay inside flowers. And again, they're not part of the flower. They are a separate plant. Puts a different meaning for tree hugger. Yeah, you a tree. F mm. You know what I'm saying? Living inside the flower. Once the pollen meets an embryo. Nah, wood to wood is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid, bro. You need to leaf. Sorry. That was bad. That yeah. was bad. That was bad. That was bad. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. That was bad. That was Oh my. Yeah. That's the that's The pollen builds a tube to bridge the gap between them. Now it's time for the sperm. At this point, the pollen produces exactly two sperm cells, which it pipes over to the embryo sac. 
pipes over. Which in the meantime has produced an egg that the sperm can meet up with. Once fertilized, that egg develops into an embryo within the embryo sac, hence the name, then a seed, and then with luck, a new plant. This one with two sets of DNA. Then the plant grows until it's mature enough to make a new one DNA set carrying male plant, okay. which then goes So wait, tree sperm can reach a daisy and still make a tree? I don't, wait, what? off to find the female offspring to mate with. For most plants, the larger versions have two DNA sets, while the smaller mini-me versions just have one. But for certain plants, like mosses, the larger version has one DNA set, while the mini-me okay. has two. But in all- Why am I learning about how plants have sex? I couldn't tell you, bro. I could not, I could not tell you, Gabe. In all cases, it's an impressively clever and complex and even alien sounding way to mate. One that all land plants from- Gabe, what is you doing, bro? You got it. You got Giant it. trees to little flowers tend to use, but despite how alien it might seem, it came out of this world. Hmm. You know what else is pretty amazing? I thought that, that was a pump fake yeah, of doom. Yeah, I, I was like, like what? You know, so I saw a post that made that really put a lot into perspective. It's like diamonds treated as like a rare uh, element, product, whatever. But there's so much diamond on the world. There's so yeah. much diamond on other worlds. There's full planets that are fully diamond, but wood it like is the rarest substance element. Yeah, in the but world. you could buy it for like thirty dollars. Yeah, because uh -huh. yeah. yeah. it's like people can't flip it for as much money. Like yeah, it's really, quite literally. Human greed, bro. Human Imagine greed. Diamond like houses. That's why I get moist at night. Not because I can't afford diamonds. Because oh, I love the, the planet. Let me see the grills. I don't have them in right now. Don't have them. Don't in. buy diamonds. Viewers of our channel, like yourselves, after our recent video about funding troubles in the science YouTube world, we asked you to help support our fellow creators on Patreon, uh, w and you're really bro. making a difference. We uh, truly appreciate it. I love to see animators get that, because, like, animation is so expensive, bro. Exactly. It's so expensive. Like, whenever I see an animated channel, I and got it. And they're an animator and a teacher. Y'all are yeah. stuck. I, oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, what? Well, you didn't pick a single a single <laughs> profession that makes bread. You made all the wrong choices. In, nah, I'm joking. Thank you for the video. But, hey, man, I appreciate the video. Oh, uh, that's been the video. I hope you guys liked it. I'll yeah. catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>